I was like, shoot, rather than build my own thing, why don't I go learn what these guys are doing and build off of that? So the big question is, what are the top agents doing to absolutely crush it in real estate, grow their teams and add more transactions year over year while so many struggle? If you ever thought about this, you're not alone. No one has been able to get the answers until now. We spent the last few years helping agents sell billions in real estate, rubbing shoulders with top producers, which got us thinking. How can we expose more people to these insights to help raise the standard in the whole real estate industry? We then realized that we could help bridge the gap by getting secrets from the best of the best so that you can succeed. My name is Andrew Dunn. And my name is Peter Michael. Welcome to Elite Agent Secrets. Hey everyone and welcome to Elite Agent Secrets. Today our guest is Matt Kramer. He's the co-founder of REMCM. Uh, they are a Facebook group and coaching program that helps real estate professionals and marketing professionals. Over 15,000 group members, over 600 people who've gone through their coaching program. On top of that, he ran lead generation and conversion for one of the biggest KW brokerages, uh, offices, and built an ISA team of over 30 people. And today we are going to be discussing lead conversion. It's probably one of the most sought after topics on how to go from stranger into customer. Um, we couldn't have thought of anyone better for the job. So Matt, thank you for jumping on with us today. How are you doing? Thanks for having me. I'm glad yes. to be here. <laughs> we're we're going to dive into the juicy details of how these guys can get, guys and girls, these agents out there who were struggling Mm -hmm. How the hell they can? Uh, how the hell they can uh, get these guys over the line? So, uh, yeah. do you know what? the way I like to start is tell us a bit of background. Like, I want like people to have context because you know we have some amazing, amazing individuals on this show, um, all different points, and I think context is important because what people tend to think is like you're some type of superhuman. Not saying you're not. <laughs> But well, people tend to think that like these top producers who've done insane stuff, like they got, they just got given it somehow. There was some type of gift, which is why they can't do it. Mm -hmm. And I think what I really want to expose on myself and Peter with this, with this podcast and, you know, content and everything is that actually almost all of you, to be fair, everyone we've spoken with so far has actually only done it through hard work and have not been given a damn thing. Like yeah. nothing. And that just makes it so much more real for these people to, uh, you know, to really absorb, like, actually, everyone listening to this, if you're not where Matt is or has been, like, you can 100% do this. And that's what I love. Yeah. So I guess we'd have to go back to the beginning when I was getting started and I really had no idea what I was doing, right? Um, I decided I was going to go cold calling, right? I was going to start cold calling because all the leads were really expensive. Um, and actually, you know, what? I take that back. I did try to buy leads right away when I got licensed uh, with the big Z, right? And I bought some leads. I showed oh, a couple man. people houses. They took your money too. They took my money too. Uh, <laughs> I showed a couple people houses and uh, yeah, got nothing out of it. Now, I wouldn't say that that's their fault. I think obviously uh, people who know what they're doing can make it work. But it did not work for me because I did not know how to convert online leads. Like I said, I had one that was like, can we see this house? And I was like, sure. And I showed him the house and then I never saw him again. Uh, so I love how you're taking the responsibility for that, though, because yeah. I think that's a big key. You, you recognize that you're taking the responsibility and you're like, this, this works. It doesn't work for me or it, it's just not a right fit for me and my business. So how do I actually build my business in a way that it works for me? And that yeah. is so important that if, if, you, if you missed this when you were listening, Matt's taking the responsibility for his actions and essentially for his lack of skill set at that time, right? Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, I came from a sales background to some extent. You know, I'd been on phone sales for my dad's company for four or five years. And uh, that's different, right? They're inbound, inbound calls for parts, for pressure washers, generators, stuff like that. So they're calling up. They're like, hey, you know, my pressure washer's doing this. I need it fixed. I'm like, okay, you need this part. We're good. That was my sales experience. You know, thought I was doing real great because I was selling parts that people needed when they called to get the parts. But really, <laughs> it's not that difficult in that scenario. And so when I jumped into doing, like I said, the, the leads, 
you know, initially I was, oh, they want to see this house. All right, let me go show them this house, right? Then they're going to buy it with me and everything's all good. Little did I know, like all the different things that can happen, you know, somebody calls, they're not even approved and they just want to go see a house or maybe they're a bad person and they want to go rob a house and they're just looking for a new agent to show it to them. You know, you never know what you're getting into. It's a crazy industry. And uh, yeah, so obviously I didn't know how to convert those leads. I didn't know how to convert the people that were coming in into closings and sales and signed agreements and all that fun stuff. So I realized that and I didn't even know where to start to learn, right? Like I had no idea like how to learn to start converting these leads because in my opinion, they were just bad leads, right? Because I didn't know that I didn't know (laughs) how to convert leads. I thought I was a good salesperson and these must be bad leads and it's all a joke, right? And so I kind of paused that for a little while And I went into cold calling, uh, which I started with circle prospecting and then moved into expireds and for sale by owners. And I learned that there was training for expireds and for sale by owners. And so I started getting into some of that training, understanding, you know, how the calls work, how to open up the call and get people not to hang up right away. Like that's the first thing you got to kind of nail down. (laughs) And so I started progressing through there and over, you know, a year and a half, two years of calling three hours a day. I was able to actually get pretty competent with that. Um, well, very competent with that and start closing sales from expireds and for sale by owners. I would say the majority of those were expireds. I still think for sale by owners are, are not as uh, fruitful for me because again, I never really dialed in how to work them the best. They're a longer term thing. And I wanted that that aggressive sales side which was more uh, expired in my experience. Short-term wins. You want the cash money now. (laughs) Yeah, I wanted the (laughs) short-term wins. You know, I didn't mind the follow-up, but uh, trying to convert somebody who right off the bat said they didn't need me and and thought I was a waste of time. I was like, all right, I'm going to go with these people who have at least worked with an agent already. I'm going to focus on that and really dial in that, right? And I mean, for sale by owners can obviously work and people obviously do very well with them. That just wasn't my primary. I got a few of them here and there but uh, more of the low-hanging fruit than the long-term follow-up with the for sale by owners. <laughs> and how long have you been doing that? Like you said, two, three years, right? Yeah. Yeah. When I was doing expireds and for sale by owners, I started doing that and did them for probably two and a half years-ish, right around that, right? And then okay. uh, we ended up moving. That is mental. Yeah. Well, we ended up moving. Because you committed for a very long time to make sure that you exhausted all resources before you were like, eh, this doesn't work for me as well as I thought it, w- I, it would, <laughs> right? It's not like you committed for a month or two or three. Right. We're talking about a month, a year, two, three years, which is yeah. crazy because we know statistically, whether you're a brand new agent or you're a seasoned veteran, you know that a lot of agents don't make it to year two or year three, let alone past five. I think we had an, um, another guest on a podcast mentioned the drop off rate is like 92%. Yeah. Yeah. It's a really high drop off rate. And again, it was one of those things where I knew that they worked and I knew that somebody out there was doing it well, right? At that time, I didn't know that that was the case for online leads. So I thought maybe I just didn't know how to get good ones, right? I didn't know it was the same thing. And so with expireds, there were people training this. There were people doing it that I could talk to. So that was what I saw. And I was like, well, if that guy can do it, I can do it. I just got to get as good as that guy, right? (laughs) So that was my focus to get better than the other people out there, get better at the objection handlers, get better at the scripts, get better at building rapport, dial in the follow-up. So I was following up longer, more often, all of that stuff, and really just focused on it. Um, And yeah, that's how I was able to make that work. And then around, I want to say it was two, three years, something like that. Basically, we decided to move to the other side of the state, which means I had to start all over. (laughs) So everything that I had built, all my database, everything was maybe good for referrals, but that was about it. You know, I wasn't gonna be driving three hours to go sell houses. Uh, That was a little beyond my limit. So I ended up Moving over, starting to jump back on the grind with expireds for sale by owners, all that fun stuff, circle prospecting, and started to pick up some progress. And as I did, I noticed a team in my office that was doing, you know, 600 plus deals a year. 
And I'm like, what are you guys doing? I'm like, are you calling expireds? They're like, we don't call expireds. I was like, what do you mean you don't call expireds? How do you get business? <laughs> <laughs> They're like, well, we got people that call off our listings and uh, we buy leads. And so that's when I was like, okay, and how does this work? How much are leads? And I started looking in, I'm like, oh my gosh, like you can spend five, ten thousand $10,000 on leads like that. Like it is not cheap um, to go big in that area, right? And so I talked to them a little bit, found out like what their splits were. And I was like, shoot, rather than build my own thing, why don't I go learn what these guys are doing and build off of that to get a launch pad, right? And so I jumped onto that team. I started calling leads and uh, I was actually just meeting with one of the people that started the same day as I did um, just a few days ago because I'm now going to be running some lead generation for him. <laughs> and uh, he was talking about, man, he's like, well, when they, I almost quit when they put us down and made us start calling all these old leads. He's like, but then you kept setting appointments, <laughs> you know, and I, I learned that the online leads, like if you knew how to do expireds and for sale by owners, and you knew all the objection handlers and all of that stuff and how to move people along in the phone call, get them to agree and different things like that. Then adapting a little bit to a, a script that they had for online leads was just, you know, it was really, really easy to slip into that and just, okay, so this is it. Boom. Right. We switched. And then I started setting appointment after appointment after appointment, getting different clients, started working with those clients. And then shortly after that, they were like, Hey, um, do you want to just run our lead gen department? <laughs> so I moved up there and then I started teaching other people how to do it. Hey, thanks for listening to this episode. Now, before you go, we're giving access to a private training we did where we revealed the top three niches to get listings today completely for free. So if you want access, you can go and download that training at EliteAgentSecrets.com. We're regularly releasing new trainings, guides, and cheat sheets. So make sure to head over to EliteAgentSecrets.com and sign up so you don't miss out.